Hi, this is Jeff with the Five Cities Orchid Society. Um, I wanted to show you a few plants here in my little greenhouse grow area. Um, and talk about uh, semi hydroponics today. Uh, so, just as an example, this is a, a, a lot of the reticulous lalias, um, I, uh, you know, they grow in rock. And things grow in rock here in Los Osos pretty well. Uh, you know, we have pretty good humidity for most of the year. And, but you see that even growing in just the rock, they have, you know, pretty nice new growths. Um, here's one of the Santa Barbara Orchid Estate 7, 750 specials. And uh, I just have it growing in, in rock too, and it seems like it's going pretty well. You can see there's a new root over here by the tag. Um, and I'm using these um, self, what they call them, they call them self-watering pots, but they're a pot within a pot. And uh, they are plastic, but they're pretty sturdy. And so there's a little reservoir here that uh, catches the extra water. And one of the things that I've done is that uh, I put in a little wick in the holes and so that little thing that you see there is, uh, it looks dirty, but it's actually just a little piece of microfiber cloth that I put in there. So it wicks up the water so that uh, um, the you know, water is available here because you know, gravity is gonna run it through here, but uh, it doesn't, you know, the rocks don't seem to be wet here on the top, but there's obviously moisture in here. But one of the disadvantages of this pot is you can't really see the roots and what's going on. Uh, unless you like this one where you have roots that are kind of on the surface. So uh, a method that I've been fairly successful with is uh, uh, is called semi uh, hydroponics. And so I use these little rocks or pebbles. It's called Lyca, L-E-C-A, which is a lightweight expanded clay aggregate. And it's these little pebbles, little clay particles. And what I do here, just to show you, is uh, I soak these things. They come in 50 pound bags. Uh, this is the last of a 50 pound bag that I bought a few years ago. And actually I think some of these are even, have been previously used. And it's the nice thing is that you can, you know, wash these off and use them again. And, but the pre-treatment of this is actually really critical for your success because when you get these out of the bag, there's a lot of dust in there. And um, and actually there's a lot of mineral buildup inside these. And so what I do is I soak this in uh, RO water with uh, some magnesium for about 24 hours. And uh, so the magnesium uh, exchanges with the ions in here. And then you get rid of this water. And if you, um, had a TTS meter, you'd see that there's actually pretty high total dissolved salts uh, initially, and uh, but it'll go down from you know like 300 parts per million to you know about 36 parts per million, and um, this pre-treating thing is is really critical. Otherwise, you can get a toxic environment and kill your orchids. So uh, the next step I do is I like to kind of I really like to soak them because again it's like if if uh your success is really with this method is really kind of in the initial stages when the plant uh adapts to that environment and what it'll do is um you know it, it uh if old old roots don't like this if it's too wet for them or something old roots will die but the new roots will be totally adapted to living in this in this stuff so I like to soak this a second time. So once I get rid of that first batch of water, I like to soak this in uh, again and put a little bit of Fizan in here. This is a teaspoon uh, per gallon. Uh, Fizan, if you're not familiar with it, it's a great algicide, fungicide, bactericide, viricide. Um, this is actually getting kind of low. I use it a lot. I just cleaned all of my, um, my pots with it and uh, the, the humidity trays and the rocks. And then, um, and then I put a little bit of uh, uh, rooting hormone in there too, because initially you want to induce roots. And so this is kaolin uh, rooting concentrate. And uh, so again, I soak this 
And then what you do, if you come and look over here, is that you, so these are deli pots, and uh, I you can get these at a restaurant supply store. Your deli would probably give you a few if you uh, go buy some potato salad and ask for, ask for an extra pot. Um, or if you, you know, get soup or curry or something like that, you can re reuse these. And basically I just drill a couple holes in the sides. And so the idea with this is that when you pot this, uh, so I put the you know, pebbles in here, uh, I've got the two little holes, and then I plant the plant up here so that the roots are, you know, up in here, uh, not into the reservoir. And then as the thing grows, it actually will put roots uh, sometimes right into the reservoir and uh, and they're totally they'll be totally adapted to this uh, this has enough air spaces in here but uh, this uh, these little clay particles are really good at wicking up the moisture down here and they wick everything up so that uh, uh, it'll, it'll it'll take what moisture and nutrients are in here and even when the little reservoir this one is the reservoir is going to dry in here but you can see that there's still a little moisture in the plant. You know, these little dark spots are a little moisture. So it still is maintaining quite a bit of moisture. And, the, and then the, the new roots will grow. And uh, it's a pretty amazing little thing. So the solution that I use is uh, K-Lite fertilizer. And, um, and basically I, I uh, put it at uh, 25 parts per million is uh, and sometimes I'll supplement that with some CalMag or uh, um, the Mega Thrive or you know one of the algae kind of nutrient solutions. Uh, so for instance, here to show you how this works with my Sarcochylus, uh, which is looking pretty good and has uh, some new growths coming out of it here, which is great. See the new root. And so you can see the holes here. And so when I water it, I, I go ahead and, and, and fill the water all the way up here. And then the water starts to come out these little holes. And, and then the water will come down here and there'll be still some left in the reservoir. Uh, but what that does, it kind of flushes the pot and keeps it so that there's no buildup of salts in the pot. And um, so you can see that this uh, hydrogen stuff's pretty useful. Here's a... Um, I use one of these self-watering pots and I actually have a mixture of bark and some of the hydrogen in there and uh, there's my new growth. Um, when I just use bark, I just don't seem to water enough or something. I'm either overwatering or underwatering, in this case probably underwatering. And um, you see the, the leaves are kind of leathery. So I'm probably going to convert this to the semi-hydro. Uh, it's just an easier method for me, and uh, you can see here, this is a LC uh, hot sauce. Uh, actually, if you watched Ed's video here, uh, he has one of these in bloom, so you can see what it looks like. It's pretty amazing. You see the big new growth on it, and it's actually got two little new growths coming out the bottom there, and I use it in this self-watering pot uh, with the hydrogen. It does pretty well. And you can see I just tend to have this, this one I'm going to put in uh, this uh, uh, semi-hydros as well because that accordion leaf is showing me that I have inconsistent watering. And I uh, don't know why because I feel like I'm always out here. Um, I've taken a phalaenopsis and just used a regular you know, orchid pot that has slits in it and used this material. Uh, it's not a, so it's not really a semi-hydro, but if I put that within a container, it sort of would be. And um, um, I've heard that these work really well on fails. I haven't tried it yet, so uh, I'm going to try it on a few fails. Um, this is a Lelia purpurata. And all these orchids are from different vendors. Um, so, uh, but you can see that the new growth on this thing is just going absolutely crazy. And it actually even has a new growth that didn't know where to go, and it's like still here and hasn't come out of the pot yet. Um, this is a material that is uh, Ed's used in this little plant that Ed gave me and it's a, a, a crushed lava rock and it works as pretty much as well as the hydrogen. I mean that plant's pretty awesome. I've also used it here in uh, just a regular Lelia.